So today we uh, are pretty stoked to be with Scott Barton and Roberto Briones. Scott's got some secret lakes that he's gonna take us to and uh, show us around. He says there's some good bass there. So uh, really looking forward to a day on the water with Scott. I was fortunate enough that Yak Attack sent some uh, items before the shoot. Uh, Roberto and I um, installed them on the kayak the night before the shoot and uh, the transducer arm was just awesome. It, it really cut through the water, very little drag. The rod holder is solid, loved it. Gear tracks, this, the, these items were all new for me and well, just, I love them. God, these things just bulldog you so much. This is a slob, dude. This is a slob. Here we go. Wow. The weather was kind of chilly and it was um, uh, overcast. As soon as the sun came out, it was peeking through. We had some windows of sunshine. That's when the, the fish started biting. So it was actually cool to see that. Strong release. It was close. It was this close. Now I gotta deal with this. Moral of the story is bringing it. They've had some a little bit early cold weather here. Um, so it seems as if in the mornings the fishing's been a little bit off and picked up later on in the afternoon. And that's exactly what happened on this day. So my friend Scott says, cast the line near the little bobber thing, a little piece of wood with the plastic on it, and you'll get a pike every time. Every time. So I cast there. I've been here a few times this lake, and every time I cast there, I get this very same fish. His name is George. George is a bass, a largemouth bass, not a pike. So there you go. Say hi to George. Kayak fishing, I think, uh, is uh, getting more and more popular because of how accessible it is. Um, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars. Uh, you could, but you don't have to. And uh, well, especially in the uh, Ottawa area, it's been blowing up like crazy. It's been booming because um, we've been trying to uh, raise awareness that uh, fishing on the water, not from the banks, is pretty affordable and it's a good way of meeting people. You have guys like Roberto who is spreading the word about kayak fishing in this community and he's really growing it. They're doing tournaments and gatherings and kayak fishing is just booming up here and there's just so many different places and the kayak really is the perfect vessel to fish so many of these, these like, hidden lakes. Like when you're dragging your kayak into a spot, the kayak's perfect. You can't get a boat in there. So they've started to embrace that up here and it's really cool. There was this one spot transition between rocks and a little bit of grass. That's when I, uh, that's where I threw uh, my uh, drop shot and there it was. And I feel just this, heavy tug on the line set the hook and that thing just went going uh, side to side under the boat and when I saw the uh, the silhouette of the fish I was like oh my god I better not lose this fish I'm shaking this beast 19 and a half inches it put up a good fight look at this he was uh, hit by something you can see here the bite marks, maybe a pike. It, he got it good. But yeah, 19 and, uh, and a half inches, it makes it my personal best measured fish up to date. 